Season 3 of Stranger Things has proven to be the best season that the show's produced. Following Eleven and the residents of Hawkins, there were moments of excitement, fear, and just pure sadness throughout the eight episodes this year. Within Season 3, there were a lot of moments that stood out. However, I've whittled it down to the five most powerful moments that hit me the hardest. So, what are they? Well, let's find out. Before I go ahead, make sure you go over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what your most powerful moment in Season 3 was. So, without further ado, I'm BrainPilot, and here are the five most powerful moments in Stranger Things Season 3. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So, watch with caution. Number 5. Eleven Witnessing Billy's Past in episode 6, we are shown a sequence of Eleven visiting Billy's memories from his childhood and seeing the child he used to be. Compared to the man that he is today, we see him being brought up by a loving mother, who he clearly adores. However, his father is abusive towards not only her, but Billy as well. The way this scene is delivered is visually stunning. It stands out for being so striking and moving at the same time. As Eleven is watching his life progress, she's running along the beach that is smothered in thick, black cloud as the traumatic events unravel. The disgust on her face says it all as she's witnessing it, and the fear that she has as well is frightening, and you can't help but feel sorry for the version of Billy in the sequence, having to go through what he did. It started off on a beautiful, empty beach, with Billy doing something that he enjoyed and you go through this dark, misty walk, witnessing Billy's disturbing childhood, finishing in the hazy red environment where Billy ended up getting flayed. We saw the journey of his life, and it was a troubled moment that was visually executed perfectly. I was taken back by it. Number 4. Billy's Sacrifice Throughout the whole of Season 3, Billy is the character that the Mind Flayer seems to be primarily hosting from. At first, I was apprehensive of this, purely down to the fact that in Season 2, I wasn't really a big fan of the character. However, early on, I changed my mind. I was very impressed with the way that he would switch from being this emotionless being filled with just pure hatred at points, to then breaking through into reality and showing us how scared he actually was. We never really got any pure emotion in Season 2. We just saw this bully-like character Right at the end of the battle, in the mall against the Mind Flayer, we see Billy preparing to offer Eleven by dragging her across the floor. However, after Eleven shows Billy all of his past that she saw, this allowed him to break through. And instead of offering Eleven, he chose to get in the way and sacrifice himself to save the kids and Hawkins. He was punctured on multiple occasions by the Mind Flayer and eventually died. And the scream from Max in the background made it even more harrowing. I didn't expect that from Billy, and I think that's what makes it all the more powerful. Everything that I thought about the character was wrong, and it seems as though he was a good guy after all. Number 3. Eleven and Billy's Fight In Episode 4, we see Eleven and the group of friends lock Billy into a sauna to find out whether or not the Mind Flayer is indeed a part of Billy and that he's been flayed. After a tense scene of Billy's emotions running high, we see him break out of the sauna and a huge fight erupts between the two oppositions. This is then the first time that we see Eleven's powers be used in this way in this season. And it definitely highlighted how much of a strong character that she is. The tables were turned on several occasions and throughout it, you didn't know for one second who would win. The pure emotion that was coming off of both of the characters' facial expressions highlighted how serious this was and just how high the stakes were. Eleven's character stood out, and I was extremely impressed. The flickering lights, the screams, the fast cuts, it made a great fight scene that knew how to evoke all of the right emotions. I was very impressed, and it had me hanging off the edge of my seat on multiple occasions. It was a small-scale fight with a lot at stake, and seeing just how much Eleven cares about her friends and the fact that she's prepared to die for them is admirable, and it makes you like the character even more. Number 2. Hopper's speech. Following the death of Hopper and the move that Eleven and Will's family were doing, Joyce finds the speech that Hopper wrote but never did to Eleven, 
as in his angered state, he took a different approach. Eleven gets given the letter to read, and this is then when the powerful moment occurs. In Hopper's voice, we hear him reading the speech about feelings and how he's forgotten what they were, and how he wasn't happy until the moment that Eleven came into his life. He addresses how he doesn't want things to change, but he sees how Eleven and himself aren't as close as what they used to be due to her growing up. And this highlights an issue that I feel a lot of parents most likely feel as their child progresses through life. The speech about life moving forward and not holding back and the troubles that also occur in life was extremely emotional, especially now knowing the fact that Hopper had died. It's an eye-opening speech that resonates not only due to the fact that he's talking about Eleven and himself and the fact that he's not here anymore, but it's extremely relatable in general. Whilst this is happening, it cuts to shots of Eleven crying whilst she's reading it. And Millie Bobby Brown did a superb job when it came to delivering all of the emotion that was necessary. Seeing her like that made you feel just as sad as what she was. The moment finishes with Hopper referring back to the start of the episode by stating that the door has to be left open three inches. And it provided a comedic moment, but one that was still extremely sad. It's a powerful moment and that's why it's so high on this list. Before I announce number one, there has to be an honorable mention. And that has to be the moment that Dr. Alexi was killed by Grigori. Alexi was a character that many fans of the show grew a strong connection with this season. Although he couldn't speak a word of English, his attitude and light-hearted mind allowed people to relate to him. In a show like Stranger Things, it was a refreshing change to have a character that was oblivious to everything that was going on, and just wanted to watch Looney Tunes and drink slushies and eat Burger King. When he died, it was extremely sad not only for the reason of us having to watch him die, but the friendship and close bond that he formed with Murray had to come to an end. It was a sad, powerful moment, but it didn't quite make it into the top five. However, Alexi, you will be remembered. Number one, Hopper's death. Coming in at number one, and what I believe is the most powerful moment in the entirety of season three, is Hopper's death. Hopper is a character that we've grown with over the space of three seasons, and we've formed an extremely strong connection with. Throughout the whole of season three, we see him struggle with a lot of things in life, whether that be his relationship with Eleven, and trying to find the right balance as she's moving forward through life as a teenager, and with a boyfriend. Or as well as this, we also see him express his feelings for Joyce on several occasions. However, to his disappointment, nothing really ever came of it. He cares about the town, Joyce, and the kids, and this was made apparent when he was prepared to sacrifice himself so that the machine could be destroyed and in turn, the gate would close. The slow motion close-up shots really allowed you to understand what he was feeling and see the pure emotion on his face. Throughout season three, he rarely smiled, and this was something that was addressed in the letter to Eleven. But in his final moments, he smiled at Joyce to reassure her that it was all going to be okay and that she should do it with him standing there, knowing full well that he'd be killed. This highlights the true traits of the character. He died fighting for what he believed in and completing what he set out to do. It was not only the most powerful moment, but it was one of the most emotional moments in the entirety of the show. So there you have it, what I believe are the five most powerful moments in season three of Stranger Things. What are your five most powerful moments? Do you agree with me? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'd just like to say thank you to my patrons, Luthy Nathanson and B Cypher. If you want to support the channel in a different way, then head over to my Patreon where you can get some exclusive content that's just for you. Take a look and see what you think. If you want to see what I've rated many other TV shows and movies, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. Comment a movie and I'll rate it over there. Over on the community page, I've started releasing polls. Head over there, have a vote, and have a say on what videos you see on this channel. It's in your hands. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.